Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of our senses and the tricks our brains play on us. Have you ever wondered why sometimes you can't smell your own perfume or why some things taste different depending on the color of the plate? Stick around as we explore these sensory illusions and more. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. First up, let's talk about something called olfactory fatigue. We all have our own unique smell, but often, we mask it with deodorants and perfumes. However, sometimes you might catch a whiff of someone's natural scent. This can happen because they didn't cover it up or the cover wasn't effective. But have you ever wondered why you can't smell your own scents, even when others can? This phenomenon is due to olfactory fatigue. Our noses get used to the scents we're constantly exposed to, making us less sensitive to them. This mechanism helps our nose stay alert to new smells, which could be crucial for detecting danger or spoiled food. Now, let's talk about perfumes. You might spend hours picking the perfect scent and a good deal of money on it, but then, you realize you can't even smell it on yourself. That's olfactory fatigue at work again. If your perfume blends in with your natural scent, your brain doesn't see it as a threat or something new, so it tunes it out. This can actually be a sign that you've chosen the right perfume for you. On the flip side, if you constantly notice your fragrance, it might not be the best match for your natural scent profile. Moving on to our sense of sight. Did you know that our vision can even influence what we hear? A popular example of this is the McGurk effect, often showcased in TikTok videos. You hear a sound, but depending on the word you read on the screen, you might hear it differently. This happens because our vision is the dominant sense and can override what we hear. Also, our brain tends to ignore repetitive visual information, which is why drivers sometimes don't notice things on the side of the road. This is especially important for pilots who have to constantly scan the sky to stay alert. Let's talk about taste next. You might be surprised to learn that what we see can significantly affect what we taste. Various studies have shown that the color of plates, cups, and even the food itself can change our perception of taste. Various studies have shown that the color of plates, cups, and even the food itself can change our perception of taste. For instance, hot chocolate is perceived as more flavorful when served in cream or orange-colored cups. And here's a tip. If you want strawberries to taste sweeter, serve them on a white plate. This phenomenon extends to restaurant settings too, where the volume and type of background music can enhance or detract from the dining experience. Our senses can deceive us in other ways too. Take the rubber hand illusion, for example, where a person can be tricked into feeling a fake hand as their own or optical illusions, like a pencil appearing bent in water due to light refraction. These examples show how our brain simplifies and filters sensory information, sometimes leading to false perceptions. Did you know that what you hear can change how food tastes? Studies have found that certain types of music can enhance the flavor of food. For instance, classical music can make a meal seem more upscale and elegant, potentially making it taste better. In contrast, loud or jarring music might make the same food seem less appealing. This is why the ambiance in a restaurant is so important. It's not just about what you see and taste, but also what you hear. Now, let's explore a thermal illusion. Have you ever touched a piece of metal and a piece of wood at the same temperature and found the metal feels colder? That's because metal is a better conductor of heat than wood. It draws heat away from your skin more rapidly, creating the sensation of coldness. 
This is a classic example of how our sense of touch can be influenced by the material properties of objects, not just their actual temperatures. Another fascinating phenomenon is the size-weight illusion. If you were to lift two boxes of the same weight but different sizes, your brain might trick you into thinking the smaller box is heavier. This happens because we unconsciously associate size with weight. We expect larger objects to be heavier, so when they're not, our brain gets confused. This illusion shows how our expectations can influence our sensory experiences. The Phantom Vibration Syndrome Ever felt your phone vibrate in your pocket, only to find no new notifications? This is known as Phantom Vibration Syndrome. It's a sensory illusion where we perceive a vibration that isn't there. This phenomenon is relatively new and is thought to be a result of our brains being so attuned to our phones. It's a fascinating example of how modern technology can influence our sensory perceptions. The Illusion of Control Finally, let's discuss the illusion of control. This is a psychological phenomenon where we overestimate our ability to control events. For example, people might think they can influence the outcome of a lottery draw by choosing their lucky numbers. This illusion shows how our desire for control can shape our perception of chance and randomness, affecting our decisions and beliefs. So, there you have it, a journey through the intriguing world of sensory illusions and brain tricks. Our senses are amazing, but they can be easily fooled, often for our own good. We hope you found this video enlightening and entertaining. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more fascinating topics. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.